and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we are talking about Lake Oroville we are talking about California weather that's coming in the next several days and I have everything you need to know let's start right off at windy.com like we always do and you can see the next three days going to be sunny we go to the next five days not so much ten days you get a little precipitation coming finally after a nice little dry spell here there's more rain it's supposed to be coming back to California this doesn't really give it much justice we go to the GFS you can see it's going to be fairly light but more rain on top of the rain that's already fallen you're going to see a big rise at the lake and we go to the GFS and the GFS not so much not showing as much but the long range is so let me show you what I'm talking about here we are at the end of January you could see the 29th there's rain coming the first they're saying the second third fourth and fifth all the way from the first to the fifth it's supposed to rain and then there's nothing beyond that so far so this is what we got going on on here we go to January you can see that it's going to be fairly sunny up until the end of the month you can see this nice long stretch from Friday all the way up until this next weekend and then it's supposed to get rain after that so we'll be watching to see if this comes to pass this is the monthly but look at this is the month this is every day that it has rained second third fourth fifth sixth seventh the ninth the tenth the eleventh the twelfth the thirteenth the fourteenth the fifteenth the sixteenth the eighteenth and then you got this nice long dry spell of no rain and then 29th they're saying more rain to come so we'll see if that comes to pass and then the first second third fourth all the way up until they don't show any more we go to the february you can see that the fifth and then nothing beyond that so far so we'll be watching that to see if that comes to pass and we continue to scoot on here we'll go to tropical tidbits and see what that's showing here we are at tropical tidbits and you can see that a big storm is going to come through the midsection of the country but california remains dry this is a quarter way through here we're getting close Closer to halfway here comes a little system it's gonna kind of skirt California a little bit not a whole lot of precipitation big storm here in the Rockies that's good news and then a storm to the south over here that's gonna come through towards the end but then another storm coming through at the end here so we'll be watching how this shapes up and how this happens this is very long way out so a lot can change it could go either drier it could get wetter either there's always that possibility we'll be waiting to see what happens ultimately very long way out out so I've noticed to not get too crazy about anything that's more than four or five days out because the forecast changes dramatically so we'll be watching it let's continue to roll on out your snowpack water equivalent is 29.3 inches in the north 35.3 inches in the central 33.9 inches in the south statewide you're at 126 for today at 33.3 inches of the average snow water equivalent percent of this normal day is 240%, 283 being the big winter down south as you see here, 246 in the central. Northern Sierra Trinity is over 100, that's good. It'd be nice if we get a little more, even though we're at this 197, we definitely could use a little bit more up here. Trinity's numbers are still fairly low, they definitely need more precipitation there. Now, it will come up some, but we will see what ultimately ends up happening, and we continue to roll on. We go out to Lake Oroville next. Here we are at Lake Oroville. Look at the store storage acre feet we're at 2,159,312 at 1 a.m. at 12 p.m. we are at 2,167,696 and your inflows are 7,434 and outflows are currently zero rain in inches this water year has been 23.98 inches that's a lot that's more than normal so there's possibly more coming in February they're saying so we'll see if this comes to pass let's go look at graph next here we are at the graph and wow you can see this thing really has shot up over the 2022 2021 mark by a long shot it's almost up to 800 feet we're getting really close that means there's a little over 100 foot left in the reservoir to fill up your levels 102.91 feet below full pool of 900 your current water level 797.81 changes since yesterday 1.09 and this continues to rise i can foresee this going all the way up to 900 by spring especially with more rain in the forecast we will see what ultimately happens this has been a big time rain event that they had nine in a row that came through so ultimately that came up you can see that it really started popping here around december 26 it really started coming up so since christmas this thing has come up dramatically 
This thing has come up almost 140 foot since December 1st. It's currently at 139.34 feet since December 1st this thing has come up. So that's incredible. That is dramatic and just goes to show that it could come up another 100 foot within a month possibly with all this rain coming and the snow that's already fallen. So we'll have to be watching that. Let's go to Lake Shasta next. Here we are at Lake Shasta. You can see that their storage acre feet is currently 2,472,440. Your outflows are 25. Your inflows are 10,135. You had a high peak at 2 a.m. at 18,173. And it fluctuated back down to 5. And then it went up to 14, 13. It fluctuates all over the place. So last reading was 10,135. We'll continue down to Lake Chess's graph next. And just like Lake Oroville, this thing has really come up quite a bit. It's higher than it was in 2021 now for the whole year. We are currently at 982.87 feet changes since yesterday 0.63 you can see it's starting to loop off it's slowing down just a bit and we'll be waiting for more melt to come through once more melt comes through it will get higher current levels 982.87 feet msl sunday january 22nd 2023 at 11 a.m the level's 83.13 feet below full pool of 1067 so we'll be watching this as well over to lake trinity next your trinity level has come up now it's not near as high as it was in 2021 but it is almost as high as it was in 2022 it's almost neck and neck the difference being like a little less than it was in 2022 your current water level is 2223.78 you're a long way from the 2281.03 so we'll have to be watching this as well and the changes since yesterday 0.21 like one of my viewers said it's way higher in elevation so it doesn't come up as quick we'll have to wait for melt to really kick in before before this thing really starts to come up plus they didn't get as much rain up north as they did down south let's continue to roll on we're going to roll over to lake Folsom next here we are at lake Folsom. you can see that they really ramped up the outflows the outflows are now higher than the inflows your outflows are currently 10,220 your inflows are 7,224 your storage acre feet is dropping at 531,444 and it continues to fall and we continue to roll on out Folsom graph you can see that that has peaked and now it's falling they're anticipating more rain and snow runoff and heck you're only 45.58 feet below full pool of 466 so it's a balancing act they have to balance it accordingly to make sure that this lake doesn't rise too high because it can jeopardize the dam and that could be a problem so we'll have to be watching this i think california will be more humid this spring maybe creating more thunderstorms possibly from all this rain there has been a report by politicians very ticked off about Newsom and their their lack of trying to get things done and they proposed a bill that will solve California's water woes GOP and hopes slates for a new bill and this is just a headline I'm not going to go into it I do not want copyright infringement saying they are very ticked off at Governor Newsom and they don't think that he's acting appropriately quick enough as they did for SoFi Stadium. They had that built in four years. They think they could have the Sites Reservoir built in many more if they just did it. And they're hoping that this bill will gain traction with this extreme weather that has been happening in California. Go from extreme drought to tons and tons and tons of rain. And that is what he's hoping for. I will link the article. It is from the Washington Examiner. So you guys can go check that out and... That is all I have for tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.